Chicagoland Indoor Championships Inside Res Rec. 25 schools coming together to compete in 17 events. We start with the 5,000 meter run. Megan Costanzo repping the NCC jersey. Late stages of the race. Costanzo jockeying for position with Kia Kurtenbach of the University of Chicago. And then there is a wide gap. Down the stretch, it's again Costanzo and Kurtenbach, but in a different order. Costanzo finishing second, just a fraction of a second behind her own personal best with a time of 17, 21, 23. I wasn't feeling 100% uh, energy wise, but it was a really good race. I had a lot of fun working with the two um, other girls that were running with me. So, I mean, overall, I ran probably my fastest time indoors and I pushed through all the, the challenges I was facing and I think it went really well. Onward to a bit of a shorter event. Brianna Kramer in lane one, crossing the finish line with a time of 8.25 seconds. And she is just .06 seconds behind the top six. So no finals, but a blistering time nonetheless. To the field events, Hannah Katz in the circle looking to fling the shot put long and preferably straight. And she does that, covering a total of 39 feet, taking ninth overall. One upping Katz is weight thrower Kaylee Etherton, who Tops a school record with a throw that soars over 52 feet. She would come away with a third place ribbon. To the pole vault, Brittany Meyer vying for a top spot, attempting to clear a shade over 11 and a half feet, and she gets it. The height good enough for third place. I've been attempting a personal best every week now, so it's just kind of keep hitting the wall and until it breaks down, basically. Instead of thinking about the bar that I want to clear, I really just want to focus on my technique and what I'm trying to do in the vault rather than focusing on like what bar I want to clear basically. I don't, know, I don't want to say a height but ideally I'd like to clear 12 or higher and compete at nationals. That's my ultimate goal. Back to the racing, on to the mile run. Emily Trent and Helen Mayer getting off the blocks and later sticking in the same crop of runners. To the finish line and Mayer finishing out in front followed closely by Trent. They finished 10th and 15th respectively. Same race, different heat. Kaylin Smith didn't just win her heat, she crushed it, finishing in 14th place with a time of 5.30, 25 seconds ahead of second place. I'm definitely working on getting faster still. It's still early, but um, I'm really happy with how the season's gone so far. It's hard to say. I don't have any specific time goals, um, but I'd like to improve my times in uh, the 3K and the mile for my team. Coach Kerry Cluckhone watching on as the cards transition to the 800 meter heats. Victoria Capaziello and Allison Hartman featured in the first heat. Midway through the duo just steps behind the leader. To the tape they go and just edged out by Michelle Dobbs of the University of Chicago. Capaziello second with a time of two minutes, 18 seconds. Hartman coming in fifth overall. Second heat going just about as well for NCC with Priscilla Colon crossing in front seventh overall for her. In the 1,000 meter, Hannah Howard dabbing across the finish line in seventh place. And finally, to the 3,000 meter run, Amanda Cortez, Helen Mayer, and Rebecca Kafrin combining forces, and it's the University of Chicago's mini Horvath crossing first, Amanda Cortez in hot pursuit in second place with a time of 10.20. Kafrin in ninth, Mayer crossing in 11th place. The Cardinals finished fourth in the 25 team field, the University of Chicago, the top team.